now i don't want this video to be discouraging to anyone um if you are already in the works of starting a hair company still go ahead and pursue everything that you're going after but i just want you guys to be mindful of what's going on and i'm here to give you guys the 411 on what's going on in the hair industry and with vendors and things like that um so yeah keep watching guys welcome back to my channel it's Amani Jelena if you guys have no idea who I am I'm the owner of Allure 96 hair and lash company and also the owner of the brand Amani Jelena.co which is a mentor service so if you are interested in any digital products regarding ebooks webinars workbooks or anything related to entrepreneurship development I'm your girl but as you can see from the title of this video this is why you should not start your hair company for the rest of 2020. So let's jump right in. I don't know if you guys know this, but in Asia, the Asia region, I'm going to say, there is a major shortage on all lace products. So I'm talking Swiss lace, I'm talking anything with lace fabric, there's a major shortage, which means that you are going to have the hardest time getting anything that has lace, which is your lace frontals, your lace closures, your your 360 lace frontals, your wigs, your 13 by four wigs, your full lace wigs. And if you guys know, the wigs, the wig game, the lace game is popping right now. Be mindful that there are still vendors who do have lace products. Even though there is a major shortage on all lace products, there are vendors who definitely still have lace. The only thing is they're charging almost triple to quadruple the price for these products. So for an example, instead of you paying $25 at a wholesale price for a 12 inch 4x4 closure, you're 9 times out of 10, you're going to be paying close to $45 to $55 for that same piece, which is pretty expensive when it does come to wholesale prices, especially ordering things from overseas. Now unless you're a super locked in hair company, such as Kendra's Hair Boutique, um, Mingli, Black Label Hair Company, you're going to have a really hard time as far as finding these products and also not getting gypped out of your money. So my best advice for those of you who do want to start a hair company is still go ahead and move forward with getting everything prepared for your hair company, but don't essentially launch it until 2021 or in January or February of the new year now i bet you guys are wondering like oh my gosh you have a hair company how are you doing it now due to the reason that i have been with my same vendor for multiple 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 years now and me and my vendor along with the factory that i'm partnered up with we have a really close-knit relationship and granted my factory is suffering in different type of ways due to the shortage in lace products but we're still making it happen we're still pushing through. And I'm grateful enough that I'm not getting charged the extra expenses that a lot of these other business owners who do own hair companies are being charged. So if you guys do, or if you have to open up a hair company, or if you do just wanna get the ball rolling for your hair company, I do have a dropship program and I do have a wholesale program that is available on allure96.com in case you do want to get a kickstart to your business and want to remove the hassle of dealing with any overseas vendors and dealing with the hassle of not having lace products or anything like that you guys can click the link in my description box and read up a little bit about my website and my company and also sign up for the different programs that i do have to offer to you guys so if you are interested the link is right in the description box for you i wish you all so much success with your new business endeavors as far as opening up your hair business and if you have any questions for me, you can leave it in the comments section or you can send me an email at amanijelena at gmail.com. And if it's any hair related questions about my business, Allure96, I would prefer if you send those emails to shopallure96 at gmail.com. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe for any updates and also for future business tips. Until next time. Mwah.